Yeah, a prostitute uh, has said that she was hired to have sex with and party with some recruits for a college football team there in Louisville. Okay, you were calling it, I think you called this a victim victimless crime or something? Yeah. Or, or be. Yeah, prostitution is a victimless crime by definition in that there are no victims, there's no complaining party. Well, do you agree with that? Oh, absolutely. What about you? Oh, no, I, I certainly do not agree with it. it Where is, is uh, the victim, sir? The victim is in the uh, people who are participating in it. Hold on a second. How can a voluntary consensual act involve a victim? Both parties consented okay. to the act. It's not like she raped these college students. Okay, it's very simple. This is it's called sexual immorality, fornicating. It's a sin against God's word. So therefore they are victims. Okay. Of this sinful act. Well, God's pretty clear um, that man needs to have free will. And if man can't make a decision to sin, then he can't make a decision to be righteous. So, uh, therefore, you know, the founding fathers were pretty clear on this, that, uh, you know, we need to not institute a state religion, and thus, uh, you know, fornic- fornication laws shouldn't be on the books. Wouldn't you agree? Okay. In, in New Hampshire, there's a law saying you, you should not fornicate? Um. Uh, Not to my knowledge, no. I don't think he understood your question, Mark. Okay. Um, Do you want me to restate it? Well, I go ahead. Okay. So, in order to in order to sin, you must have the uh, you must have the ability to sin, right? That's the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. You have to have free will. will So, if you can't have if you don't have free will, you can't choose to sin. You can't choose to be righteous. So. You know, it's not a government's place to tell a person that they've got to be righteous, especially in the area where there's not a victim. The government's job is to protect you from other people, not to protect you from yourself. That's your job and a bus- in the business of you and your and your God. So that's why uh, we're saying it's a victimless crime. You can, for instance, kill yourself by eating too much sugar or something like that you wouldn't suggest that we should do away that we should outlaw all sugar con- consumption would you right right okay agree with that there you go okay good well so then you do agree that uh, prostitution while you may consider it a sin is not a crime with a victim it you- is a sin and it and there's a victim are you saying but a person I, I, can victimize themselves? I mean, the word victim has a very specific meaning, right? Uh, I've got the dictionary pulled up here. It's a person who suffers from a destructive or injurious action or agency and typically uh, not at their own consent. I mean, you could argue that somebody uh, who was a masochist uh, liked, you know, likes to be uh, victimized. But uh, generally, victims are people who don't consent to things that are done to them. So if I shoot you, Vincent, then you would be a victim, right? Yeah. Okay. But uh, if you shoot yourself, have you then victimized yourself? Well, I victimized, you would say, I victimized myself with a bunch of pain and suffering. Well, you you've certainly inflicted that upon yourself. You're not looking for anti masturbation laws, are you? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most Christians <laughs> would say that onanism is against the law, is, is against uh, God's uh, wishes or whatever. And so, if, you know, by this definition, if two people can't participate in consensual sexual acts, then one person shouldn't be able to cons- uh, participate in consensual sexual acts, right? So, sounds well, like you've got a lot to think about. It- it's a matter of that free will. Indeed it is. That. We'll leave it at this, Vincent. Thanks for the call tonight. I appreciate it. Sounds like you gave him a few things to think about there, Mark, and that's a good thing. Yeah, free will is what it comes down to.